Hello everyone, this is Clicky from NextGen Windows with a quick look at Windows 10 Mobile Build 10.16.6. Uh, this is the most recent build that came out today and this is a quick look at it. Now, first off the bat, when I turned it on and I first got into it, this is actually on my Lumia 1020, um, as you can see from the back right here. Um, when I first got it, I noticed one thing right off the bat, which was the... Um, basically the bar on top so where you see your signal forgot what that's called but you can see that right there let me zoom in actually Let's see if this thing will focus 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 it doesn't want to focus it let me zoom out a little bit then but you can see that bar right on top up there right here the battery icon is now normal size um, that's one of the things that bothered me before about the previous build was that everything was not the right size it was really like cut off it was really it didn't look good at all it was the battery icon was so microscopic up there that I just couldn't really like get get used to it at all it was so tiny when you're charging your phone you could barely tell that the battery icon was even there in fact so I can show you guys what it looks like when you're charging your phone I'm gonna actually plug in the charger right there so I'm gonna plug it in and then we're gonna see, yep, you can see the charger much easier than before now. Um, you can see it right there in the corner. It kind of just blinks in and out. So yeah, you can tell that it is, everything is much smoother. Let me plug this back into my tablet here. But everything is much smoother now. Um, and everything is like buttery smooth. Even the, the icons and stuff have been fixed and they've they, their sizing of the icons are now like the proper size. This is the non-extra row of tiles look. Uh, let me zoom out here. So this is how it looks when you don't have an extra row of tiles. Uh, you just have the usual Windows Phone 8, you know, double row of tiles right there. Double row of medium sized tiles um, that I'm using right now. But everything seems really smooth now. Like the animations, for instance, when I go to text messages, it just it pops forward and it's really nice. And you can see text messages right there. If I zoom in a little bit, you guys can see it better. Now with text messages as well, I noticed a little thing that everything was a lot bigger and everything was a lot uh, smoother. So everything, the, the main thing about this is everything is a lot smoother than everything else. And on top of that, one thing you might notice in if you have Windows 10 Preview for desktop is these build numbers have aligned. I keep shaking my camera, but these build line, these build numbers have aligned now. Both the desktop and the phone build are the same build number now, which is 10166 which is pretty amazing because Windows 10 is coming out in about a week or two and yet and the phone it says it's not on the same track yet the phone build is getting very very like smooth I went from I remember going from uh, I think it was like some w previous build before the last one and it was very bad like my battery would drain in one day it would, it, less than one day my battery would drain in like half a day I woke up at like 7 a.m. and yet my battery would be gone by like mid by like 12 p.m. which is which was insane um, but everything is much smoother now um, you can see just how smooth everything is now it's just I like it and on top of that the store beta icons apparently are gone now so if I click store the blue will show up and it will work just like that so it hopefully I haven't had the store working unfortunately for me uh, but other people have said the store has worked so you can see right there the store just stays a blue hue I'm not sure whether it's because I haven't restarted my phone after it updated or you know whatever the case may be it probably needs to be restarted before it'll work but the store is the only thing I couldn't get to work but everything else works Facebook works uh, WP Central works right there you can see it's loading I don't like the loading screen but WP Central works you know with their articles they're the reasons why I found out about this build as usual that's how I figured out a lot of the things uh, the calendar app works smooth Office calendar is what it says. Office Outlook calendar. I feel like the Office logo is something that was new addition for this build. So you can see Office calendars is works fine. If I want to, let me try to get this thing. If I want to actually drag down, I can. And then I can just check this and just drag down and see what I want. Go back in and it just pops right up and it's really, really smooth. Let me zoom out a little bit. There you go. And it's and it's really really smooth. It's it just feels nice. Everything, everything just seems to work. Now another thing because the store does not work for me, I maybe until I restart the phone, um, I can't get Here Drive to work. And I use Here Drive a lot when I'm going around town. 
I can't get here drive to work but phone works people works I'm not gonna show you those because uh, obviously personal people contact information on there uh, edge browser edge browser works very smoothly let me click on that so the edge browser Microsoft Edge it works really nice and everything is just really really nice everything is well polished um, it is just it, they did really well on it so um, let me go take a look at some more things so going down you can see a lot of these icons if I zoom in in fact let me let me actually yeah, zoom in a little bit so you can see a lot of these icons are now um, they're all blue because that's my theme but all these icons just work now everything looks nicer everything just looks smoother it's like fit and finish that they're doing even though they say the phone build is nowhere near complete right now uh, they got groove music now that's really nice they got groove um, let me actually click groove music oh my gosh I can't click stuff but they got groove music which as you know from the news just came out a while back and of course you have we'll click on a lot of people's fan favorites is Taylor Swift so they got groove music there you go I got 1989 a while back because it was like 99 cents on the music deals app that you can get from the stores and we're gonna hit um, let, let's just hit let's just hit shake it off so you can see so you can see everything just works it's trying to focus on Taylor Swift's face but you can see everything just works and everything looks nice nice full screen portrait images of people um, I hope I think it does a slideshow of like different images hopefully but everything I love how it looks um, I wish it looked like this on other things but Groove Music is not currently um, set up as updated on iOS or anything else but everything just works really smooth you can click this arrow to see more music just like that but this is not an after this is to show off how smooth everything is and so yeah everything I like it I really do like it um, when I do find more information about what happened like what changes came into this build I'll definitely look at I'll definitely do an update video this is the insider hub here that's still there let that thing load up and see if they have any new good bits that you can find enjoy the new indic keyboards I don't know what that is but okay click more there we go so yeah you can see just a lot of things have just gotten better and it's just it's nice fit and finish do I think right now as of uh, yet that this build is ready for the prime time and ready for people that are not usual testers and like IT pros to get it um I feel like no it's not for non IT pros still because there's still you know the store doesn't work and people regular people will complain if their app store does not work but I feel like if you've been hesitating on your main device this being my main device if you've been hesitating on getting it because of your main device you don't want to ruin it I think now it's time that you can actually do that I think it's it's ready for you to put it on your main device and it's still buttery smooth so last thing I'm gonna show you guys the settings and the notifications so scroll down you can see how the notifications look like uh, if you tap the arrow down there you can break down more got Papa John's meat deals and stuff like that meal deals um, they have all the all the bars above so let me scroll and put this down they have all of these things above and you can see just all the icons work everything was there on the previous build if you don't have if you got the previous build and then going into the settings um, I didn't see too many differences in settings but everything just looks more smooth in settings um, you can go to if you want to change your personalization you go to personalization start color sounds lock screen if you want to change your lock screen go there if you want to change the sounds for ringtones and call tones go there if you want to go to color it changes your theme color um, and if you, with the color compared to Windows Phone 8 they actually have a lot of colors now oops they actually have a lot of colors now so you can see just how the variety of colors they have I feel like soon they should have like the color picker where you can actually just type in a hexadecimal code and just choose whatever color you want so they have those you can choose an image light or dark I like the dark theme because I feel I feel like it changes it saves battery life then you got the the images and that you can add as your um, wallpapers which I took this photo and so that's what I'm using as my wallpaper you show more tiles is how you add a third row of tiles and that's about it um, there's not really too many changes really that I've noticed as in this first look at the new build um, but when I find some more changes I'll let you guys know maybe on Twitter or if I see a lot of changes I'll make a new video for this but yeah that's about it this is Windows Phone 10 mobile 
build 10166. You can get it if you're a preview member right now. Um, all you gotta do is download the Windows Insider application. In fact, do I have that? Let's take a look. There you go, the Windows Insider application. Go into that, um, sign in with your email address, um, but you gotta sign up for the preview program first, and then sign in with your email address after it's been finalized, and then you can prompt it on your settings and you'll get it right away. So yeah, that is the new build for Windows 10 Mobile, build 10. 166. If you have any questions about it, leave comment box in below and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.